I'd like to think that some things don't need to be taught. But I'd be wrong. How to tie your jujitsu pants. I've seen purple belts who still haven't figured this one out. Follow me. Generally, pants, right? What's amazing about jiu-jitsu pants is that they really do have a lot of space to work from, okay? So there's all this baggage over here. Hold on, I gotta sneeze real quick. False alarm. So generally, their juice pants are amazing. I wear a size A3 on my pearl weave, but this would fit someone who was much heavier, much wider hips than me, okay? But with that baggage, people don't understand what to do with that. Some people get their strings, they pull it forward, and this is what it looks like. They put the strings in these holes, and they run it through one, there's two holes here. So they run it through both holes. Some pants have four, some pants have two, some have just one hole. And literally, I've seen purple and brown belts do this. Now, to someone, that right there looks like your pants are kind of tight. There's only one problem with this. Besides the fact that it's so ugly that it's hard to even fathom, the problem with this is that, is this. Let me just demonstrate. After you start training and you're grappling and you're working the hips, I'm not going to untie the knot, but the knot stays. And you're grappling and you're working the hips and you're grappling and you're training and you're grappling and you're training and you're grappling and you're rolling and you're rolling and you're grappling and you're rolling and you're rolling and you're rolling. And you're rolling. Look, the whole thing freaking comes off. So what happens is all that crazy bundleage that you saw, that was baggage that was just squeezed together by an artificial little tie in the front. So now you have your pants falling off while you train. Okay, Brian T. City Ortega. So what happens is you need to figure out how to tie these. Let me come back out and demonstrate. Just to be clear, this string is only one string. For those who have jujitsu pants and have not figured it out, there's only one, this is not two. This is one. It just goes around one and a half times. So it looks like two, because it goes through, through, crosses over, and comes out the front. Now what that means is, to tighten up your pants, you don't just come up here and tie a knot and do this, because then you have extra baggage that will one day release itself, or one roll release itself, and then it gets all loose and you look all ridiculous. Look, grab the strings, and here's the key. If you pull forward, there's too much friction, so it stays baggage. When you're pulling forward, I'm pulling hard, and it's not going anywhere. The key is not to pull forward. The key is to pull, look, out, out, my friend, look. Okay, these are called lateral thrusters right here. You need to include the lateral thrusters and pull out. Now look at this, how beautiful. No baggage, the string is perfectly tight all the way around, and now we take beautifully tight. Now, sometimes when you have one string longer than the other, it's not a big deal, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, look, it's a little longer. Whenever you have one that's longer, that one makes the journey, okay? And now look, if it's on this side, they're somewhat the same, and I like to do my knot a little bit on the side. So we go here, boom, boom, and boom, okay? So if it has two knots, you can do it in the middle if you want, or you can do it on the side here in the corner, okay, whatever you want. Um, if it has just one of these little loopers, it only had just one in the center right here, what I would do is run it through. Don't tie it around the looper. Run it through and then tie it on the side as well. Okay, get that looper. It's just, the only reason for these little loops, for those who haven't figured it out, is so that this rope doesn't elevate and go on your stomach. It stays on the pants. Okay, some pants have two, some have one, some have four. Got it? So that's the bottom line. Now, if your string is crooked, okay, if your string is crooked, like very crooked, look, completely one longer than the other, and you're like, oh man, it's so ugly and hard to tie. All you have to do is this, know this, okay? <sighs> Put it this way, if there's too much water in one cup and not enough water in the other, transfer it. Look what I'm gonna do. This string is here, this is it, watch this. I'm gonna pull, watch it slide. Pulling over here. Now I have extra baggage right here. So look what I'm gonna do, take the same string, watch the baggage remove over here. Clear, now look over here. Now look. In other words, transfer the water, my friends. Pull your pants up and don't do the T-City. Bundle, okay? Go out here and do this, straight out, straight out. 
straight out. Lateral thrusters, my friends. Not forward, out. If you go forward, you have friction. You go out, you have... Again, put one, put two, or you can even do this, two to the center, and boom. So if you have this chronic, come up please. If you have this chronic pants fall down while you train syndrome, it's not that anything wrong with your pants. It's just that you haven't figured out the lateral thrusters. Now, one day you're gonna wash your pants, or you're gonna train, you're gonna pull one side too hard, it's gonna pull the string through the tubing, and you will panic, and you will think for a second, oh my God, I've gotta buy new jujitsu pants. The string doesn't come through anymore. But my friends, for you, there is another video, a classic Hannah Gracie video. It's called The Last Gracie Family Secret, and it's how to get that string back through the tube into the lateral thrusters, and everything's gonna be okay. Keep it real. If you have any questions, watch the video again. Peace.